I'm a, in actually in a storage room of the college while my students are taking a test because I wanted to do my devotional today while they were occupied. And I brought something with me. This is a picture I painted several years ago when we had a painting event for the ladies at the church. And uh, it was really fun. And I'm not creative at all. I'm not creative in the area of painting or drawing at all. My creativity is in other areas, in music and writing and such, and teaching. But you know what? I think God made us all creative in some way. We're creative in some way because he's a creator. He's the creator of all. And because he's the creator and we're made in his image, we like to create. So I created this and it's not so bad. You know why it's not so bad? You know why it's bearable at all? Not because I did it by myself, but because they gave such great instruction. They said, do this, and I did that. Now, some people did other things, and theirs don't look like this. They probably look better. They do look different. Mine looks a lot like the leader's. Because I'm not so creative in this area, I followed instructions perfectly, as best I could. And as I followed those instructions, it came together, and it worked. Because they were the expert, they were the master, and I followed them. Well, besides being grateful for our creative God and being creative in whatever areas we are, I, I, and I encourage us to, to, to if you're the la in the ladies group, do this ladies painting night we're having next Monday. You got to sign up tomorrow by tomorrow. So just do it so that you can join us and be creative. Try it, even if you've never done it. <clears throat> but while you're there, if you're like me and this isn't your area, you'll follow the instructions the best you can. You will just do it exactly as they say. And they'll because they've learned how to do it, because they're the experts and the master, we can follow their example. What a great way to live for God, isn't it? He's the one who created us. He's the one who made the universe. He makes it function. And if we just will follow exactly what he says in his word, we'll have the best lives, the most beautiful result in our lives. Not just of paintings, not just of things that are fun like that. But in our daily living, in our, our lives, in our relationships, and everything about us, if we just follow the Master, He'll make it beautiful. He'll make something beautiful out of our lives. Thank you, Lord, that you are the Master. And in your creativity, you made us each different. And some of us are creative with regard to art. Some of us are creative other ways. Thank you for letting us be creative like you are. But Lord, help us to follow you. You are the Master. You know what's best. Help us to follow you so that you make the most beautiful person we can be out of our lives. Thank you, Jesus, in your name. Amen. God bless.